Hello and welcome to another Ubuntu Cloud screencast. During this screencast, we're going to be introducing Ensemble. Ensemble simplifies the deployment, management, and scaling of services in the cloud. So developers, sysadmins, and DevOps can all create, share, and modify Ensemble formulas to rapidly deploy their solutions to the cloud. I'm going to show you how to get started with Ensemble, how to install it, and deploy your first formula. So for that, I'm going to add the uh, PPA Ensemble. And uh, the PPA is the best way to get the, the most current and up-to-date version of Ensemble. Since Ensemble is rapidly changing, I'm going to, I'm going to be using this, um, this option of installing from a PPA. Later on, within the 11.10 cycle, uh, Ensemble should be integrated within uh, the main Ubuntu repos. So once the PPA is installed, um, let's do sudo apt-get update and apt-get install Ensemble. Um, since Ensemble currently deploys to the EC2 cloud, uh, once it is installed, we are going to make sure that we have our EC2 environment uh, set up correctly. That means uh, having your EC2 file, your, your EC2 RC file uh, set up correctly. So um, I'm going to show you the EC2 RC file that I use, um, masking the values, of course, and you know it, it just shows that you um, you set the variables to point to the EC2 private key, the certificate, your AWS key, and the uh, and the the secret for it as well. Um, so let's make sure that this this file is uh, sourced within the current directory. So after uh, installing Ensemble and sourcing the EC2 RC variables, let's run Ensemble for the very first time. Um, this will create uh, the file dot ensemble environment dot yaml. Um, so right now Ensemble has created this file for you. Um, to actually start using it, we'll launch Ensemble boot strap. So the environment has been bootstrapped successfully. Um, let's switch to the AWS uh, console and we should have a running instance. Yes, it's the, the instance is being booted right now. It's running. So what, what the um, Ensemble Bootstrap command does is that it launches a Bootstrap node. This is a management node that is used for uh, Ensemble. Um, so with the environment Bootstrap, we want to deploy our first um, actual formula. So visiting user share doc ensemble, there should be an example formula that we can uh, that we can use. So let's try. Um, inside the examples formula, you're you're gonna find WordPress and my SQL. You can even cat the um, the examples README file for the uh, for the steps to deploy the the first system or the you know the first formula. Um, so before I actually de deploy it, I'm going to use uh, Ensemble status just to make sure that the bootstrapping has completed successfully. Okay, it does show that there is a machine number zero, which is the bootstrap node, uh, has been deployed with the following DNS name and the instance ID. Um, so that means we are actually ready to start deploying uh, other machines. So let's deploy my SQL. So this will launch a new EC2 instance. It will automatically configure itself as a MySQL node. Um, and uh, you know we don't really have to wait for it, so let's deploy the WordPress node as well. Very well. Um, the final step is to add a relation between WordPress and MySQL. And what this does is that it basically propagates uh, settings through Ensemble uh, that enables the WordPress formula to configure itself. Um, so once, once the connection is, is done, MySQL is going to create a database for WordPress, it's going to create a username and a password, it's going to send it over to the WordPress formula to create the actual WordPress configuration. Um, all the magic really happens from the, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's managed for you by the Ensemble formula.
So once once this is done and uh, it deploys successfully, let's check the uh, status again. You should just find WordPress um, a WordPress instance that is running and ready to be used. So we have um, three machines. Machine number zero is the bootstrap nodes. Machine number one is the MySQL node. And machine number two is the, um, is the WordPress node. So both nodes now have, uh, you know, their state equals started, and the relation um, between them is up. So that means they are ready to be used. Let's connect through the web browser to the WordPress formula. Uh, WordPress is machine number two, so let's copy this address and visit it. And indeed, we have WordPress um, waiting for the connection. Uh, so that's really a, a very quick and brief taste of, of what Ensemble can do. You can manage you know, different settings. You can scale your services. Um, I, if you're interested to learn more about Ensemble, I would encourage you to visit ensemble.ubuntu.com for introductory information and links to resources. Uh, you can join the mailing list or uh, join uh, hash Ubuntu dash Ensemble on Freenode. It's an IRC room um, where you can ask your questions and connect to the development team. Um, you can also um, visit ensemble.ubuntu.com slash docs for the documentation for Ensemble. Once you are done with Ensemble and you would like to destroy the, uh, the formula deployed, you can use Ensemble shutdown. This will terminate all the three nodes or all nodes that have been deployed to EC2. I hope this was useful and see you in another screencast.